Well, the first thing I'd say about the diagnosis is that in a very strange way, and it might sound very strange to people, but mm. like it, it was a relief to yeah. know that there was something wrong. Because an I, answer. Yeah, an answer. Because I really thought I was losing my mind. And so I was in Galway and I was driving home and, um, and I was on my own and I, and I was thinking about what I was going to say to Sean and, and Martin when I got home and how was I going to tell them. And all I could keep thinking about was, of course, life is never going to be as it, as it was. And, um, you know, there was, there was that thing about um, how do you tell your loved one that all of the things that you banked along the way, you know, or that maybe you wouldn't remember them? And those are the kind of questions you ask yourself. So I was driving down the road trying to think, God, all the things we've done, all the memories we've created, and then what if I don't recognise them in a year's time or whatever, because I knew nothing about the illness, to be honest with you. So I'm thinking of all of this, and then somehow along the way I got my spirituality kicked in, and I stopped off at knock, and um, I... <laughs> I think that poor priest is still wondering about this crazy woman that presented herself, and you know, because I thought my life had come to an end. And did you? so, yeah, I did. Yeah, I really did, and uh, I just thought it's over. You know. And, Do you have uh, those memories of your family holidays when you were younger, wedding, having children? Are they there, or have they drifted into another place now? Well, some of them, a lot of them, have drifted into another place, but. You cannot forget having kids. <laughs> and they're looking at you. They're looking at you. Yes. So, uh, no, I think, yes, they are. And, but most of my problems are short-term memory. So it's, it's what happened yesterday or what happened last week. That's the, that's the real problem for me. 